Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the basics of how to use the built-in task manager within Google Chrome. So Google Chrome has its own system resource display that allows each open website to run as its own process within the web browser. And this will also apply for extensions as well. So this has been around for somewhat decent time in Google Chrome. Hasn't always been there, but somewhat a little bit newer. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Chrome browser if it's not already open. And in order to access the task manager, we're going to go select the menu icon near the top right corner of the browser screen. Should be three vertical dotted icons, one on top of another. So just left click on that, select more tools, and then select task manager. So there are several tabs here. We see memory footprint, CPU, as well as network and process ID in here as well. So if you want to right click on any one of these given tasks, so let me just go over here, let me make them a little wider so we can see the tabs here. Let's just go on the Wikipedia tab here and just right click on it. You can see we have several different options of stuff we want to display ranging from CPU to CPU time, start time, GPU memory, all that other good stuff here as well. So you have different options that go from as well. So if you want to display additional tabs in here, just go ahead and select that and you will see that option up here which you can see that image cache which we enabled is now a new tab that is available to us you can also sort by most to least by clicking on the tab header so you can see the up arrow or down arrow will show ascending or descending order by most to least memory footprint or any of the other categories that I showed and you can see there are quite a few categories here to play around with as well so if you want to end any of these specific tabs, so you, you can notice we have our Wikipedia tabs up here. All you have to do is just have it selected inside of this interface and then select end process. And you can see that the Wikipedia page, while it is still a tab, it is no longer connected. So we basically just stopped it. So pretty straightforward process there, guys, and that would work for the other apps as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.